Lana, the llama who wants to be a unicorn, by Sonica Ellis, illustrated by Harriet Rodis. Dear reader, I wrote this book for you. I want you to know that you are loved and wonderfully made, so don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You don't need to look like anyone but yourself to be beautiful, and I will tell you a secret. Just like a unicorn, you have magic within you. I hope you enjoy this book, and don't forget, you are awesome. Yours truly, Sonica Ellis. Dedication. This book is dedicated to you. Yes, you. Lana the Llama would visit the pond by the bridge every day to watch the unicorns as they soared happily through the sky, leaving a sparkling trail of magic behind them. Although she watched, Lana never spoke to them, worried that because she was different, they would not like her. I'm going to be a unicorn when I grow up. I'm going to be beautiful, enchanting, and magical, just like the other unicorns. Each day, Lana would tell her family that she was going to be a unicorn when she grew up. Lana would even ask her friends the same question every day. Do you know what I'm going to be when I grow up? She would ask it so often, the other animals would roll their eyes and reply, Yes, Lana, we know. You are going to be a unicorn when you grow up. Lana would say this so often that Mama and Papa Lama decided they needed to have a talk with her and explain that she can't be a unicorn when she grows up. Lana, sweetheart, you are a llama and you are are special and beautiful just the way you are. But Lana didn't listen to Mama and Papa Llama. No, I am going to be a unicorn when I grow up. You just wait and see. Later that night, Lana stood looking out her window, still determined to be a unicorn, but not quite sure exactly how she was going to do it. Until one day, Lana had a wonderful idea. Lana gathered a party hat, construction paper, scissors, tape, and glitter from Mama Llama's craft kit and raced up the stairs. Lana walked excitedly to where a pair of unicorns were playing and introduced herself. Because she now had a horn and wings herself, Lana was feeling as confident as could be. My name is Lana. What is your name? I am Ellie, replied the unicorn. Nice to meet you. Lana and Ellie played throughout the day until it was time to go home. It is almost dinner time, said Lana, and I should be going home. Okay, said Ellie, smiling. I will walk you home. When they arrived, Ellie told Lana what a wonderful time she had playing together. I had a great time playing with you, Lana. Maybe tomorrow you can come back as the real you? Lana was surprised. You knew I was not a real unicorn? She asked a bit confused. I did, replied Ellie. But I want you to know that you don't need a horn and wings to be special. There is magic inside you just the way you are. As Lana hugged Ellie goodbye, she realized that Mama and Papa Llama were right all along. Everyone is special and beautiful just the way they are. I hope you loved this book and know that you are special and beautiful just the way you are.